Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new episode of my Hearthstone Adventures. Now we're sitting at Diamond 2 around 60-ish LP, so only about three wins away from promos. But before we go into that, I want to talk about the, uh, I guess, thing of this episode, right? AD Nico. And now Ryan has buffed it once again. They nerfed it a while ago, and then they buffed it again, right? You can see the attack speed growth has increased on this champion, which is one of the major things uh, that you want, I guess, when you're playing AD Nico. So it's pretty much back and uh, pretty damn strong once again. So we're going to be playing it, busting it out as usual, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So make sure you play it as well if you want to bottle lane top lane all fantastic and she's really good because she has her self peel and self cc which obviously with her w with the passive of it being just pew, 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 is really really strong but either way guys let's jump right into it if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button let's go for the promos as well and as usual for this video let's aim for 3333 likes but let's get right into it guys let's do it let's go So for this game, we're going to be playing the Nico down on the ball in the AD Nico again. It did get buffed, so let's just see how it feels and how it is. Let's go. Nice. What the fuck? Wait, is Soraka, this Soraka just... That Soraka was real scared of the Thresh there. Jesus Christ. That's actually kind of funny, to be honest. Double comp. Thresh? How? Wait, how is Thresh getting these kills? I don't understand. That's actually not very good, honestly. I'm going to push this in. Thresh can go help. I'll push this in really fast. How the hell did Thresh get both autos? What? Oh, kills rather. That's insane, actually. I got you, baby. I got you. Don't worry, dude. I got you. I got you. I threw the E a little bit ahead, too, which actually worked pretty well. Because the Yasuo ended up dashing right into my snare. That was really close. That lantern was really good. The fuck? What is this random-ass Lee Sin? Why, why are you even here, dude? These suckers. Never mind. These things gotta be here. Dude, I wanna start playing Rengar. That looks like so much fun. Just like constantly jumping from every single bush. That looks like I'm um, so much fun. I wanna play that too. Can I play that too, please? Okay, I got a lot of fucking gold. I think we just go top now at this point. I think Ruben can just go bot. Yeah, I don't know about that one, my friend. So just saw you, girl. Pushing in the wave, don't worry. Nice, you got him. <laughs> Wait, my hotkey on my Blade of the Rune King was on the wrong hotkey the whole time. No wonder it wasn't going off. I'm like, where the fuck is my Blade of the Rune King? Alright, so we still got tower. Beautiful. Alright, now I get the hell out of here. Beautiful. Now we go for Rage Blade. Peace, sucker. Peace, sucker. Dude, I flash healed and she still died. Ah, that's unfortunate. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, wait a minute. If they, like, it looked like it was gonna be so good. Yeah, I want that fire. I wanna get this tower quickly. And they're not gonna do it, obviously. There's no way they're just gonna casually do the dragon. I don't believe it. But we can start walking to it. Wait, are they doing it? Oh, that should, that should do it. What's she doing? <laughs> wait, it's, wait, uh, uh, okay. I don't know what she was doing. It's like she, what? Why? I feel like she actually maybe had a chance to kill me. 
I have enough for Rage Blade now, though, I think. Yeah, I did. Beautiful. That's a huge item for me. So, it's going to make it really, really strong off of this as well. Nice. Beautiful. Now we have the Rage Blade as well. Now we're actually strong. This is, like, usually the point of the build that you want to get to. The, the, the Blade of the Rune King plus the Rage Blade. And then this is where you get really strong, right? After this, you usually want to go for either Nashers if you need extra AP damage. Or you can go for Rune Ants Hurricane plus... Um, Rune Ants Hurricane plus... IE. That's what you want to do. Stretch is actually really good. I mean, it helps when your support is really good. I, I, will, I will say that. It definitely helps. Wow, he actually landed the Q on me. God damn it, dude. Okay, I'm gonna go for Rune Dance here, I think. Man, it once you get the Rage Blade, it gets so strong. It's actually really nice. Again, the build, everything is essentially the same as it used to be. It's just Riot nerfed it pretty hard, actually. And then suddenly they just buffed it as well. They're like, a patch later. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. It's still weaker than it was initially, but it's it buffed is the point. It's 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 actually not bad anymore. It's, it's quite good, actually, I would say. This is really, really risky, though. Nice GG. Nice. Well played. Woo! That was actually close. My goodness. Alright guys, the next game is about to begin for this one. We're playing Zed. This time in the top lane. Now, I had to get mid lane. Don't get me wrong. Everything is, you know, usual there. Uh, the cannon just preferred the Yasuo matchup, apparently, over the Camille matchup. So, yeah. Let's see what happens. So, I went top. He's like, yo, you want to go top? I'm like, sure. No problem, dude. Yeah, I do have my W, so it'll be pretty hard for the tower dive. Summers. Really, wow, that actually worked out. My lane is so fucked now. Why don't you jungle counter dive you? Dude, I'm asking the same question right now. I, I don't know. Like, if you if know what's happening, just counter dive that shit. Dude. Okay, I gotta reset. She's gonna freeze it here too. Dude, my lane is so fucked. Cause is boss at least, but she's about to get level 6 and she can fucking shit on me with that. Okay, whatever. They're doing work with bot lane, which is really nice. So, whatever. As long as all I have to do is just not grief to Camille right now, and we're fine. Give me that kill, baby. Give me that kill, baby girl. Give me that kill, baby girl. Everyone bought. Get that free kill. Get tower now. Beautiful. Pike and... Wait, and Pike quit the game, too. <laughs> hey! I like the free wins, boys. I like them. It's annoying. If I had my ultimate, I could have made a fat play there, but I didn't have my ultimate, which kind of sucks. Get the Yomus, get another Longsword, get another Potion, and now we go bot. I think I should be able to kill Yasuo now. As long as he doesn't put all my Qs, it's a free kill. So I have to be really careful with how I play this. I think my goal is to try and burst them before I ult, because he's going to expect my Qs after I ult, not before. So I think I can catch him off with that. Pretty big dragon coming up, so you have to be uh, starting to get a little bit ready for that one. It's going to be a nice, spicy one. We want to use this plant, so they can't use it. There's no healing plant, unfortunately. I wouldn't mind one right now. Put a ward in this bush here. Wait, he actually stole it? You're kidding, dude. No way, man. That would be such a nice dragon for us to get. Oh. On Corky, that dragon is so good, I think. It's really unfortunate that he stole it. Oh, well. Now, Yasuo might be doing that stupid bush cheese again, so I'm gonna be careful here. I'm gonna save my W. Nice. The Herald did take the damage from that, which is good. We can probably push him really hard here. I have an ultimate, though. I do want to wait for that if I can. Yeah, we can't fight this anymore. Our drama got bursted really hard.
Nice, dude. Nice. Pretty clean fight there. Beautiful. Okay, that was actually a pretty clean fight. Nice. Beautiful. This Corky, though. What the fuck is strong? And they're flashing for the Yasuo there, which was good. This Corky is actually insane. So strong. I mean, he, he got camped pretty hard, but, like, man, he's, he's using his lead, which is the most important part. Camille's just chilling up there. She's looking for something. Oh. Oh god, wait, you're just going in. Can I fucking hold someone, please? Can I hold somebody? You always get carried. True, actually. Imagine if you lost that Baron, I was so fucking scared we would though, like you have no idea. I actually thought we were about to lose the Baron here and I said this game is going to become super hard. Oh my god, team. Thank you so much. I mean, to be fair, I won top against the Camille. I got tower though, early, and then Camille gets double buffs, and I'm, I'm just, my lane so fucked. Whatever, GG. Alright guys, the next game is about to begin for this one. We're actually playing Nico in the mid lane. We're not playing the AD Nico for this one because I am mid lane, of course, not bot lane, right? I like to play bot lane. I don't like to play mid lane as much because I just honestly think this build is better for mid lane. Uh, especially with this kind of team comp, you know, they have a lot of immobile champions. I'm gonna slow them down, man. You guys know how the drill is with this build, so let's go ahead and focus up. Let's get this party started. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna push another wave here. So this Trinity Mirror was Maokai matchup top, it feels a little bit questionable, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Kha'Zix should not be ganking that lane. Like, if you get Maokai ahead, that means literally nothing for us. Like, we need either mid or bot ahead. That's the only win condition we have. Top lane is without question not our win condition. Holy shit, what literally what just happened? What is this, this stupid ass fiesta right now? Okay, nice. We have enough uh, for glacial augment now, which is really good. Bro, this nude is so tanky. I don't know why he tried that, okay. Hell out of here. What? That right there, ladies and gentlemen. No, we get tower, dude. This tower is so much more important. Are you kidding me? This tower is infinitely more important. I guess we can get both, maybe. I hope. Like, we need this tower. This is a huge tower for us. Hopefully, me and her can get it. This is a big tower. Like, we need this right now. Top lane might get tower really soon. Okay, now we go towards the twin shadows as usual. Uh, I don't have transcendence anymore, so I don't want to go for the CDR boots, even though they're. Honestly, I think they're really, really nice, but yeah, I can't go for that. I'll, I'll cover it. Really? Oh, it was a good TP by Malachi, but wait, really? They actually no one fucking dies? You're kidding me. These guys can't fucking kill me though. That's like at least there's that, right? I mean the fact that I lived that one scenario just now was actually really good. This guy needs to get as much armor as possible. I mean they're only AP is a lux. Bro, I'm getting them all low, but I I'm just missing like a team. Thank you. What is this Nunu doing? I don't know what he's doing, but okay, we'll take the kill. Thank you for that free kill, my friend. Oh, 
So I'm making picks left and right, boys. I'm making picks left and right. But it just feels like it, nothing is happening with them. That's the issue. Like, I get them, and then nothing happens anywhere. Baby, let's go, dude. I love it. this build. Is uh, uh, I love this build so much. This build is fantastic. Look how much I'm controlling them there. It's so fucking juicy. So juicy. Oh my god, they're just they can't move. They literally couldn't move. They're all mobile. Can't really get anything yet because I do want to go for. Actually, you know what I'll get? Fuck it. I'll just get a Zonius. I'll just get a Zonius. I, I want to go for Rabidons, but I don't want to leave the base with nothing right now. And I have a flash ready to go, so I can go ahead and get a fatty flash later. This champion is. I love this champion so much. I love that this champion is fucking broken, man. Period. Like, are you kidding me? What a bust. Look, look, look. Oh my god. The second they engage, I just walk into them with my ult like that. They get chunked. I have Zana's worst case scenario, and I have so much control after that, too. We can end the game, I think. Get her, 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 get her. Ah, okay, whatever. I guess going mid works. I mean, the Lux kind of griefed it down there. The silver movement speed plus my slow. The Lux is just dead, so hey, you know what? Whatever. I guess it'll work. I'm gonna end the game, dude. Get me out. Get me the fuck out, please. Get me the hell out, man, please. Jesus. Alright guys, so that's going to be the end of this episode, sitting at Diamond 2, 100 LP, so we actually got into the promos, which is pretty damn sweet, so now we have to get back into Diamond 1, since we already did before, but then Riot, of course, demoted us, because it's a reset rank as of their mistake, mm, not happy about that still, not going to lie, but it's good that we're back in promos, so let's go ahead, next episode, win them, get to Diamond 1, and then get to Masters ASAP, and yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this episode, if you did, of course, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys for the next one, peace.